Lady, me a sure say MPP for MPP for Besha as a so more case. Um, Al Jazeera or more Aqua Cogisica if we NDC for her. And yes, and get what we are sure pass on Besha as a so more case. Now, what you will hear, Muna Al Jazeera be released expose case Ah, a nipper cra or ye money laundry, ni gold smuggling. Alistair Matthias. Obe boy, your president didn't say your president here and a downfall. Na na your president here and a lawyer and all that. Na and they are sorry, yeah. Al Jazeera has also a Babetro article on their website, their main website. Now, here article now was say Cathedral of Scandals How a Presidential Promise Divided Ghana. And I'm say, hey, Al Jazeera for. And yeah, yeah, like I said, my baby just gave you NDC for her because now say stories are more more traffic. A couple of the hun na no enjoy ye. Now, yam kong kong read this story no na yam head ye wa moka. Efa e ye Ghana Cathedral no eh ho. Eh, oh yeah. Um, I say the four hundred million dollar state funded church has become hugely controversial in Ghana, even as the country pursues an IMF loan due to huge debts and economic woes. Now, we we'll say Accra, Ghana, about 700 meters, 765 yards from Ghana's parliament, sits one of the world's most controversial craters. A hole surrounded by weeds, in which $58 million has already been sunk for the building of an interdenominational national cathedral. Now, quotation, we we'll say, I made a pledge to Almighty God that he was gracious enough to grant my party, the MPP, and I, victory in 2016 elections after two unsuccessful attempts so i will help build a cathedral to his glory and honor president nana ekufado said at the sword cutting ceremony in 2020. <laughs> now i said the interdenominational national cathedral will help unify the christian community and thereby help promote national unity and social cohesion he said by construction of the president's pet project, due to cover 3.5 hectares, a uh, hectares, a year nine acres of prime Accra real estate has stalled since June due to lack of funds. If it weren't for the cranes and artistic impressions of the project surrounding a construction zone, it could pass for an abandoned illegal mining site. As a, as a, you people should be careful. <laughs> I just hear for you people should be careful. Then someone more can know. I just hear for someone more can say. Enye enyama ebben in China. Yesi danya yade toto kona. Nanka sa cathedral adia ya ye 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 ne se cathedral ya ya spending fifty eight million dollars so far. Nanka galamse site. Nanka ubi beka se we di galamse site. We di omu tu omu tu go do ho. Ubi eni ubi hunde se cathedral no musi. I say like ekufado. Two thirds of Ghana's estimated 30 million people are Christians, even though it is an officially secular nation. There are an estimated 10,000 churches nationwide, and open air preaching is commonplace on public transport, at bus terminals, and at road intersections. According to the Africa Oxford Initiative, Accra alone has about 10 churches per square kilometer. And so, and I like the angle the writer. Al Jazeera writer is speaking it from. Utumihun said the person is well informed. Now, and the angle they are trying to paint, and they say, what person in Crawfordia has said, say, on my Ghana, you on my India, I sorry, any na. Into a person who tries say, Ghana there, I sorry you, I'm a public transport mukra ano, I am Crawford, I could name a preachy. In Crawford preachy, we are going home, a preachy, we public transport. You say Ghana, we far. A, a, a kilometer per square kilometer and sorry I'll be near your bed ten. Oh Nancy, if we have koha koha koha. Me say wow area what say ewa Ghana share around. Me me area me say. So me say me can in sorry I me to me can in more than twenty. It's in sorry the boo Ghana. Or say the president saw the cathedral as a way to unite these believers, but instead it has split them into two major groups: those who want to see the church built to upgrade Ghana's state infrastructure and those who see it as a waste of state resources given the country's economic state. Inti, and you see, this, this particular statement or paragraph 
explains what they said here. Let me let me show you. It explains what what they said here. Now I have said you know, one more President Ekufuado has said more kindly. Or say the interdenominational national cathedral will help unify the Christian community and therefore help promote national unity and social cohesion. It is or say President Ekufuado AC national cathedral has said more kindly. Say cathedral no ever magan a fwa ba be boom ne ya ye ba akun. As if say Ghana for yembo mu nye ba akun, but say cathedral no ebe ma ya ba be boom ne ya ye ba akun. Now o wye ye no eno tan so be kan say the president saw the cathedral as a way to unite these believers, but instead it has split them into two major groups. It was say president e kufa do see cathedral no e ye na adwen say ebe ma Ghana for ba be boom. Now so cathedral ya ye sini mu ma ma Ghana for inte mu ache. Ama Christo for inte mu ache. Omo a wamo kan say Ghana. Yehun e tri yen. Inti nanka yenfe si kane nye a diya ema yehun tri yen no. Nye yehun en ye free kakra. Ebi mou sa se mou mou kane se ane yen si. Inti kate do ane kufwa do kase di yenbe boom no. Ama yen te moum a chiche. So you, you, that's what I'm saying. Se ni pa kwa wa tro article we. It is, this article is well created. You, you are seeing the intention and everything in it. And you are sort of getting the direction of the article. Now, was a financial burden on the states? Was a Ghana? A major cocoa producer and leading exporter of gold is facing its worst economic crisis in decades and has racked up a debt of $45 billion by the end of November. The cost of living is high in the West African states with inflation hitting a record 54% in December, the highest in 21 years. Rents, fuel and transport prices have risen and about a quarter of the population live below the poverty line, according to the United Nations Development Program and the Ghana Statistical Service. Funding for the National Cathedral has been shrouded in secrecy, but last year, the secretariat in charge of the project said the cost initially estimated at $100 million has now quadrupled due to inflation. <laughs> hey. I say, while presenting the 2019 budget to Parliament, Finance Minister Ken Ofoyata promised the cathedral would not put undue financial burdens on the state. He said most of the cost would be covered by donations and the government was providing only the land and an unspecified amount of seed money for the preparatory phase. However, that has not been the case. Most of the $58 million spent so far has come from the national coffers. Ofoyata himself told Parliament when it summoned him in November for essential hearing. Inti, Osansu explaini, Seni ya kenufo ya tabe da da gana fwa ka se katidra anon, E ya sase pe na bayne de ma, E na sika a bayne de be ma ne ye ki tuwe bie, Nye sike bi a gana fwa, E, em se, Ye be sun hon, San sen sem ni na anon, On ze kenufo ya tabe katre yen. Inti, waka se, Sa a nyama ni ni na anon, E ten sa ote e yen tro. Embra ye semon kenufo ya tabe a parliament. And you be who say ah, send some in an intro. Was a month later, Parliament blocked a budget allocated of six a budget allocation, sorry, of six point three million dollars that the government had wanted to continue the project, even as Ghana struggles to restructure its debt to qualify for a three billion dollar loan from the International Monetary Fund. As a strategic project or misplaced priority, so the article goes on. Uh, goes on, sorry. Was so the government argues. The cathedral will bring enormous long-term economic benefits while transforming Ghana into a religious hub, creating jobs and accruing more revenue for the state. The plan is for cathedral's 5,000 seats, two-level auditorium, which could be expanded to have an additional capacity of 15,000 to serve as a sacred space and facility for national events like state funerals and presidential inaugural services. It would also be home to Africa's first Bible Museum and Documentation Center. In addition, the cathedral would have a music school, an art gallery, shops, and a national crypt for state burials. Poopoku Mensa, executive director of the National Cathedral Secretariat, said the location of the cathedral is strategic. And, you know, it, it goes on to explain everything and, and all that. So, um, that is the article. I see... Um, the most reckless decision in the history of this country. As a bar critics and the opposition accused the government of using the project to milk state coffers in the name of religion. And some see the state's back construction as a misplaced priority. As a, we should be building hospitals and schools, 
actor and activist Yvonne Nelson told Al Jazeera, People are dying. I don't think any Ghanaian is complaining about where to worship, but we complain about the health sector. We complain about schools. For churches, we have many. God looks at the heart. And so, let's get our priorities right. It was say Yvonne Nelson in some our country, Al Jazeera, no, no. I'm going to interview Yvonne Nelson, your kind, no, no. I say runs for Jampo, professor, uh, professor, political science lecturer at the University of Ghana agrees. I say it is quite strange that we are putting religion ahead of development. He told Al Jazeera, we have pressing issues such as lack of funding for the national school feeding program involving school children and our priority as a country is to build a cathedral for God. God will not be happy with us. Who said God lives in cathedrals? I say our public hospitals are without dialysis machines for kidney patients. Jampo said, can't we channel the same energy we are putting into raising funds for the cathedral into attracting investors to this country? Look at how bad our economy is now. As a contrary to Ghana's procurement laws for projects use, uh, uh, using taxpayers' money, no bidding process was conducted for the cathedral's design contract. It was awarded to respected Ghanaian British architect David Ajayi for a reported $22 million. Samoku Jatwa Blakwa an opposition member of parliament and a critic of the project has accused the board of diverting $206,658 to a private company of one of its members. The Reverend Kusi Boateng, or see, the Reverend Kusi Boateng is accused of using a different name to establish the firm, JNS Talent Center Limited, to receive the funds. And so, uh, and all that goes on in Semu Okuja Toka and all. Into here. Uh, the, the article is quite extensive, okay? Uh, what? Uh, or say, a symbol of corruption. Or say, not all Christian, a symbol of corruption, right? Not all Christian leaders have supported the president's plan. There is time for everything. Fred Granching Mensa, presiding bishop of Accra based Transformational Assembly Church, told Al Jazeera, arguing that building a project at a time of economic turmoil is insensitive to Ghanaians. There is nothing wrong with building a national cathedral, but the timing is not right. We can put the money into other things, such as fixing our roads and healthcare issues and all that. And so, uh, that is what um, uh, the the Al Jazeera has reported on. Quite quite long. Montreal, your comment box, with that.